Local school board hears from the public regarding an incident where a sheriff's deputy slammed a student to the ground. The White House gets a cease and desist letter from the attorney of a whistleblower. Signs of environmental damage are everywhere from one product most would not think about. And we have a sunny day on the way for your afternoon, but the chance of warmer temperatures this weekend. I'll have the details coming up. Now, from West Tennessee's News Channel, this is 7 Eyewitness News Midday. Good morning. We have developing news out of Milan. Milan police say they've confirmed that they're investigating a report of shots fired Friday morning. Police say they have received the report of two people shooting at one another in a street near a nursing home. Police say the incident is not an active shooter situation and no one in the nursing home has been injured. One person is currently in custody and a gun has been recovered. Police are still searching for the second suspect. We'll have more tonight at... Uh, five, six, and at 10. Educational leaders are discussing ways of bettering education for students in uh, Jackson, Madison County. Thursday's school board meeting began with public uh, voicing their concerns regarding a recent incident, school resource officers' use of force on slamming a student at the school to the ground. Superintendent Ray Washington says they are continuing to search for a resolution also on November's board agenda, the board is working to establish a special committee, to a special question committee. Teachers and management coming together to discuss things that might need discussing. Um, uh, it's not a union per se, but we get to talk about wages, benefits, things of that nature. The next school board meeting will be held Thursday afternoon, December 12th at 5.30. One group is hoping you'll make the holidays even brighter for local kids. Hark, hello, bells, sweet silver Don't bell. change. All sing and say, throw a cradle away. Christmas is here, bring in the cheer. To the young and old, me and And this was the sound of the Jackson Boys and Girls Club as they held a reception last night to kick off its annual Windows of Hope Drive in West Jackson. Through the holiday, the windows of the West Tennessee Healthcare Building on the Highway 45 bypass will light up with electric candles as donations are received. Boys and Girls Club hopes to impact multiple areas in students' lives. We're here to help. So we want to help achieve positive test scores. We want our kids to be those positive, productive citizens that you talk about and the people that you want to be your neighbor. Anderson tells us this year's goal is $55,000 to find out how you can make a contribution to the Windows of Hope a drive with the Boys and Girls Club here in Jackson, Madison County. Visit the Scene on 7 section of our website. Time now for that first check of our forecast. And meteorologist Mo Chamel is here. And by golly, it was cold and this morning and it's going to get colder. Mm -hmm. I wasn't cold yet. Y'all wait, wait till Monday or Tuesday. <laughs> wait till Tuesday morning. Then we'll talk cold. Okay. But it is quite chilly still, nevertheless, out there across West Tennessee. But it is a beautiful day uh, looking out the window there at the Discovery Park of America in Union City first. And uh, there we've got a temperature right now in Union City of 37 degrees and a dew point. There you go. The key number here, 19 degrees. Of course, that's a very dry air associated with that Arctic air uh, indicating what kind of air mass we're really dealing with here. 38 degrees are current temperature so we're back above freezing here in Jackson really across all of West Tennessee we're already at 45 degrees in Savannah and 41 degrees in Bolivar at the moment so uh, it's still chilly you'll certainly need the jacket and coat but uh, we do still have a northeasterly wind and of course that's also making it feel cooler in fact the wind chills still hanging around freezing so we're not feeling like we're above freezing but on the thermometer we, we are right now storm tracker 7 max radar remains quiet and through the weekend we expect it to stay that way for the most part we'll take a look at your headlines and it looks like a mostly sunny day but it's quite chilly this afternoon. Brief warming trend up through the weekend, though, but we will be returning to Jan November because I put two V's in there. <laughs> I'll correct that in a bit. All the details and that full forecast coming up in just a few minutes. For now, Tom, back to you. Across the country, the latest on the impeachment inquiry of the president. The attorney for the whistleblower who triggered the impeachment inquiry has sent a cease and desist letter to White House accusing President Trump of using rhetoric that may endanger his client's life. Trump insists the whistleblower's identity must be revealed as the White House continues to ignore congressional demands to cooperate with the impeachment require requirements. Former New York City Mayor Michael Bloomberg thinking about another office uh, 
Uh, the President of the United States, in fact, is considering a run for the Democratic nomination, dispatching aides to Alabama where the deadline is today to get on the ballot for the primary. It's the earliest in the country. He could announce his run as early as Monday. Signs of environmental damage are everywhere, but sometimes those signs are very hard to see. Tiny, nearly invisible pieces of plastic called microplastics are making their way through our ecosystem. Our ecosystem scientists say every year worldwide more than 300 million tons of plastics are produced. Half of it is used for single use, but around 8 million tons of it ends up in the ocean where the, it's consumed by ocean life and eventually passed on to humans. It's time now to recognize this week's Educator of the Week presented by the Tennessee Education Lottery. WBBJ 7 Eyewitness News reporter Corrales Ortiz surprised this week's winner and Humboldt. Hey guys, we're in East Elementary to surprise this week's Educator of the Week. And like always, they have no idea we're coming, so let's go ahead and surprise her. Good morning. Are you Amy Little? You are. How are you today? You look like you weren't sure. <laughs> I am fine. How are you? Good. Good. Do you have an idea why we are here today? Um, I'm not sure. W. <laughs> you actually nominated as this week's educator of the week. Wow. I can't believe that. I'm <laughs> speechless. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Thank you for coming. This this is my class. You guys can see my wonderful class. Yes. Give her a round of applause, everybody. <laughs> well, we just wanted to come and say congratulations. Of course, you've earned it. We wanted to give you a certificate. Oh, wow. We also have a gift certificate from the blacksmith there as well. Oh, and wow. your Educator of the Week mug. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, no problem. Appreciate you earned it. it. <laughs> well, <laughs> and Humboldt Corrales Ortiz, WBBJ, 7 Eyewitness wow. News. Little will now be eligible for the statewide Tennessee Education Lottery Educator of the Month Award. To vote for her or any of the other nominees, go to tnlottery.com and click on Education Wins. To nominate a teacher for our weekly award, email us at educator at wbbjtv.com. A local church helps to honor our nation's veterans. The veterans program will start at 6.30 this evening at Inglewood Baptist Church program is sponsored by the West Tennessee Veterans Committee. Now it's free and open to the public. And on Saturday, the Veterans Day Parade will be starting at 11 in downtown Jackson. Still ahead, we head to the Mr. Food Kitchen to see what is cooking up with Howard and the gang. And it could be a scary weekend at the box office. We look at some of the new movies coming out. If you've been injured in a car or truck wreck, there's only one thing to know. NST is the way to go. Call 427 -5 -5 When looking for a TV and internet provider, we know you have a choice. This is Jessica. She still has satellite TV. Well, I get tons of HD. Spectrum has tons of HD. And we get exclusive access to premium original content with Spectrum Originals. I don't have that. Plus, sometimes in the rain, our services go out. Because of the dish on your roof? Get Spectrum TV from $44.99 a month. Call 833-916-4499. And Spectrum Internet starts at 100 megabits with no data caps and a free modem. We have to get internet from another company and it isn't nearly as fast. Spectrum Internet, $44.99 a month. I'd switch, but I'm stuck in a contract and would have to pay up to $480 to cancel. Spectrum has no contracts and they'll pay up to $500 to help you out of your that's it. I'm switching to Spectrum. Get Spectrum TV and Internet from $44.99 a month each. Call 833-916-4499. Attention, Jackson area hunters, collectors, and shooters. It's the Greater Jackson Gun and Knife Show going on this weekend at the Jackson Fairgrounds. Don't miss it. At Arrington Funeral Directors, we accept all prearranged funerals. So you may have prearranged your funeral in this town with another funeral home or even in another state, but we accept all prearranged funerals because we're here to serve families. At Lonnie Cobb Ford, we guarantee your credit approval and we give you a warranty for life on a used car. Who does that? Guaranteed credit approval and a warranty for life. Why go anywhere else? Lonnie Cobb Ford and Henderson, where cars really are cheaper in the country. 
Keep up with your local favorite sports with me, Alex Northcutt, right here on WBBJ7 Eyewitness News. Watch Fifth Quarter tonight with me, Alex Northcutt, right here on WBBJ. Time now to check in with Howard and the Mist Food Kitchen staff today. They're making a no-bake dessert full of layers of chocolate. It's called Chocolate Dessert Lasagna. You know, hard to think of lasagna without thinking about how all those layers of goodness create one incredible dish. Well, today, we're creating a to-die-for dessert, which uses the same layer-after-layer layer concept, and the results are nothing short of amazing. The first thing we do is mix some crushed chocolate sandwich cookies with butter and press them into the bottom of a baking dish. While that chills, we beat together some cream cheese with vanilla and powdered sugar until it's smooth. Then we fold in some whipped topping. This goes over the cookie crumb crust. See, it's sort of like building a lasagna. A layer of chocolate pudding goes over that and back into the fridge it goes. The whole thing gets finished with whipped topping and after it's chilled, we sprinkle each piece with some mini chocolate chips. All it takes is one forkful, and you'll know why we fell in love with this. I mean, what's not to love about all the layers of goodness? The recipe for what we call our chocolate dessert lasagna is ready and waiting for you on our website. I'm Howard in the Mr. Food Test Kitchen, where today we found a layer after layer way for you to say, ooh, it's so good. Mm -hmm. Kelly always loves those desserts. To see today's Mr. Food recipe and the many others, go to the Scene on 7 section of our website, wbbjtv.com. Click on Mr. Food. I ain't going to judge you, Kelly. Go ahead and get those sweets. We do have a cold day underway across West Tennessee. Some slight warming temperatures as we go through Sunday, but the chance of uh, a mix in our forecast. I'll have the details coming up after the break. This patty melts is loaded. Beef patty, grilled onions, melty cheese on Texas toast. I propose a toast. Oh, awesome. Peter, you're dull. Okay, this feels more like a roast. Ah, uh, I propose a roast. Grab a patty melt while they last and order ahead for happy hour anytime. So when my sister got hit by a truck, she called 427-5550. Thanks, at Nahan Saharovich and Trots, we're always ready to help. MSD is the way to go. That's gross, but it happens. Call Stanley Steamer for our $99 cleaning special and get back to clean. Call 1-800-STEAMER. Stanley Steamer gets your home cleaner. Imagine how inconvenient your life would be without power. No lights, no refrigeration, no heating or cooling, no electronics. But with a Generac Home Standby Generator, you will have power when you need it most. Generac Generators automatically provide backup power after sensing a power outage. So your life goes on uninterrupted. Center, a great place to call home. Call and schedule your tour today. Bacon mac and cheese bites are the perfect comfort snack. I needed some comfort, man. It's been a tough day. What'd you do? Well, I only got 10 hours of sleep. Oh. Get them while they're hot. Bacon mac and cheese or chili cheese bites are $2.99. Your dreams start here. Only at the Happy Shack Mattress Store more in three way. And now, WBBJ Storm Team Weather with meteorologist Mo Chamel. 
Well, we started off this morning frosty across West Tennessee. Feels a little bit better now, but certainly still needing that jacket. We'll take a look out the window first here in downtown Jackson, where we have severe clear conditions right now. Not a single cloud in that sky, unless you count the serious clouds, which of course are ice crystals uh, way up in the uh, higher parts of the atmosphere. 38 degrees our current temperature right now here in Jackson. Locally, we are a little bit warmer than that. We're already back to 42 degrees here at the studio. 21 degrees in the dew point and uh, north northeasterly wind at about eight miles per hour. Here's a look at the Climate Prediction Center's temperature trends. This is going to take us through the middle of the month. So this is going to be go from November to 14th through the 18th. And uh, well, that's a lot of blue uh, still showing up across much of the eastern U.S. We talked about that yesterday. Remember the pinwheel of doom that we were talking about this morning? Yeah, well, it's still going to be in place even as we go into the middle and end of the month. So we're going to be stuck with these well below average temperatures. In addition to that, it's going to be on the drier side as well as these, as these are Arctic air masses we're dealing with. There's not a whole lot of moisture uh, associated with those. So uh, as we take a look at our pattern again, you can see a very deep trough uh, extending all the way from the Arctic regions of Northwest Canada all the way across much of the eastern U.S. But the thing is, it's not done amplifying. Take a look at this system back off to the Northwest. This is what's going to come through here on, on uh, Sunday night into Monday, and that's going to bring us our next chance of rain and perhaps a little bit something else other than rain falling from the sky at point as we go through the early part of next week. So let's go ahead and take a look at it on future casts. Again, we'll, for, between today and really the weekend, we'll see mainly clear skies. So here we are by 4.30 p.m. on Saturday. You can see we still have mainly sunny skies across all of West Tennessee. And then on Sunday night, we'll start to see clouds increasing from the, from the uh, south and west, and then rain breaking out by Monday morning. So here we are at 9 a.m. You can see showers starting to make their way into parts of northwest Tennessee and the Mississippi River. And it's going to be a lot like what we saw yesterday. We'll just have the off and on uh, rain with gray skies much of the day and a cold rain nevertheless. But the difference will be this cold front It's going to be one of those uh, ones that are real shallow along the surface. It's going to be moving a little quicker and we see cold air intruding on the back end of this storm so it's entirely possible we could see at least a brief mix as we go uh, to into the day on Tuesday morning and we may even have a few lingering flurries uh, to boot as well there on early Tuesday so I did make some adjustment on that seven day forecast as you'll see here 46 degrees for your high temperature today sunny but still on the breezy side and cold north wind at nine tonight will drop down to about uh, 23 degrees so a very frigid start to your day on Saturday but we still be w warming nicely with a southwest wind at 8 and 53 degrees for your high temperature on Saturday. The rest of the forecast, we're going to be looking at maybe a rain, uh, a wintry mix there on Monday. And of course, we could end it off with a few flurries there by Tuesday morning, which uh, of which we may not even make it above freezing on Tuesday afternoon. That forecast brought to you by Tracy Little at the Diabetes Center of Jackson. Back to you, Tom. All right. Thanks, Mo. It could be a scary weekend at the box office and Kanye West running for president. Jason Nathanson reports from Hollywood. I, I was called at The Shining. It's looking like a sleepy weekend at the box office, thanks to Dr. Sleep. The R-rated sequel to Stephen King's The Shining looks like it'll debut in first place with a $25 million or more opening. Oh, you! And if horror isn't your thing, there's the rom-com Last Christmas, starring Amelia Clark and Henry Golding. That's looking at a $15 million or so debut. Pearl Harbor is the greatest intelligence failure in American history. This can never happen again. In that same range, there's also the World War II drama Midway. He said go! We're a go for extraction! No. And the family comedy Playing With Fire might struggle with under 10 million. All... Remember that whole thing about Kanye West running for president? It's still happening. When I run for president in 2024, we want to definitely know what y'all laughing at. On stage at the Fast Company Innovation Festival in New York Thursday, West said he's moving production for all of his clothing lines to the U.S. When I run for president in 2024, we would have created so many jobs that I'm back to run, I'm a walk. Richard Gere is reportedly going to be a dad again. People Magazine saying the 70-year-old actor and his 36-year-old wife, Alejandra Silva, are expecting baby number two. Their son, Alexander, was born nine months ago. It's ABC World News Tonight with David Muir. Good evening, and it's great to have you with us here. And happy birthday today to David Muir. The World News Tonight anchor is 46. While rock, blues, and country star Bonnie Raitt is 70. And that's what's happening in Hollywood. I'm Jason Nathanson, ABC News, Los Angeles. Coming up next, a local author joins us to talk about his book that can serve both as a source of inspiration and guidance. Stay with us. 7 Eyewitness News is with you on TV, online, and on the radio with Star 1077 and Win 106.9, part of West Tennessee's news network. 
Hello, I'm Mike Lindell, inventor of my pillow. Just like you, I had problems sleeping. I tried every pillow out there and nothing worked. 15 years ago, I invented my pillow. It took me two years to develop because I wanted to have everything you would ever want in a pillow. I made sure that you could adjust my patented fill so you could have the exact support you need as an individual, regardless of your sleep position. I also wanted a pillow that would last, so I made my pillow machine washable and dryable. I back my pillow with a 10-year warranty and a 60-day money-back guarantee. Not only that, I do all my own manufacturing in my home state of Minnesota. I really like the fact that it was made in the USA. I think that USA products are a better quality product. I've tried a lot of other pillows and nothing's worked like my pillow. I'm interrupting this commercial right now to give you deep discounts, not just on my pillows, but also my mattress, topper, sheets, and so much more. For example, you can get body pillows regular $89.99, now only $29.99, or my pillow dog beds for as low as $19.99 with your promo code. I used to think that sheets were just sheets. I got the Giza Dream sheets. They are the most comfortable sheets I've ever had. The Go Anywhere pillow is so easy to just roll up and take anywhere I want to go. Go Anywhere pillow is really comfortable, so that's what I really like. It's nice and supportive, and it's nice and small. The My Pillow Topper, for the first time, has enabled me to have a cool night's sleep. I'm able to go to bed and just get rest. That's three inches of wonderful that's in the My Pillow mattress topper. It's just like a firm cloud. My Pillow helps me get a good night's sleep so I can do my job in the morning. Go to mypillow.com to get deep discounts, not just on my pillows, but so much more. For example, you get body pillows regular $89.99, now only $29.99, or My Pillow dog beds for as low as $19.99 with your promo code. For the best night's sleep in the whole wide world, visit MyPillow.com. Big savings when you combine your home and auto with me, Brandon Jones, State Farm Insurance. And welcome back. Uh, Tom Reed, a local author, is joining us today. And he's here to talk about a new book that you uh, may want to take about 365 days to read. It's a devotional for each day, and it's even longer than that. It's entitled to Turn to Me, isn't it? It is. Tell me about it. How, how did you come to write this? Now, we know that you've written uh, uh, several other books, the Cedar Grove Stories, The Long Ride Forever, The Bench, uh, uh, and then Innocent Kill. Tr I'm just reading here, Truthful Moments. So you've had a lot of other books, but this is a departure from the type it of is. book you've the, been writing. The other books uh, were books of fiction, and this is a religious book, so it's a, it's a big change, big, big difference. And why I shifted gears, I'm not really sure. Uh, I blame everything. Well, writers write what they think, you know, <laughs> comes guess. to mind, right? Now. I blame everything on my wife. Okay. Uh, so. Good job, Judy. <laughs> I've been reading the <laughs> yeah. book. <laughs> so Ju Judy gets all the credit, and or if you like it, she gets the credit. If you don't, we'll do that. But uh, actually, I am um, a lay leader for the Methodist Church, and occasionally they go, if a pastor throughout West Tennessee cannot serve during a, a particular Sunday, they go into this pool and pull one of us out and throw us out into West so Tennessee. So kind of fill in for the yes, sir. pastor. Yeah. So uh, I've been doing that and sending out my sermons to a few trusted friends just so I don't scare a particular congregation. <laughs> and that seems to work. And one of these friends is Tom Mapes, who you may know from the right. sheriff's office. Sure. And uh, Tom suggested that I cut them up into smaller sections uh, and do devotions. So I talked to Judy about it, and she added oxygen to the project. So between Tom pushing this way and Judy pushing that way, I started writing a few devotions. But I'll tell you, if the year had only 10 days, it had been a lot easier project, but 365 <laughs> days is a big project. Right. It took almost two years to do it, to right. research it. Right. You said 365 days, but it's 800 and something pages, right? Well, yeah, it's, a, it's not a page a day is what you're saying. A, some are longer, some are shorter. Some are longer, I've been some reading are shorter. Those, yeah. Well, I'm glad you could read. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> not everybody knows you're literate. Yeah, that's for sure. <laughs> Being on TV, they don't even think you are yeah. anyway. So. Uh, some are longer, some are shorter. But uh, there are 365 separate individual ones, and there's a short introduction to it. But it's about 830 pages, so it's a pretty substantial well, book. Well, you know, I found myself, you know, I didn't know what to expect when, when you uh -huh. brought it by. And so I started reading, and I thought, wow, this is, has some insight. And, and I would read, and I would sit, and I would think about what I read, and then I would look at the scripture that you yeah. backed up what you're 
premise was of what mm -hmm. you were saying, and, and it, it seemed to all to agree and mesh. And I didn't know you were a lay speaker in the church, so I thought, wow, what an insight this guy <laughs> had. So you've been working on it for a while with those sermons forever and ever. Mm -hmm. How can we get the books? And you've got a book signing coming, but we don't have the date yet. Tell yeah. us about that. Well, you can get the books. Actually, I checked a couple of days ago, and they just sold out at the Christian Publishing Outlet. That's a brand new store in Jackson. And thankfully, they sold out recently, but they're reordering a new batch. So you can get them there. I think you can go to Books A Million and... Amazon has them too, I know. Ask, so. ask them and they'll order them. And I know they're on Amazon. Um, we're working with a good friend, Clark Shaw, at the Old Country Store to have a book signing. But not a date. We don't have yet. a date. Hopefully, it'll be sometime in November. And there'll be uh, books available at that. All right. Well, thanks for coming by. So, Let us know about it. Thanks for the book. I'm really enjoying it. I'm oh, well. slowly but surely getting through it, you know, and taking time. And it should take time with a book like well, that. You know, you, you don't you want should. to speed read that kind no, of book, I don't uh, think. But I'm um, glad you're reading it. That, that's very good. All right. Thanks for coming by today. All right. Mo has that you. final check forecast. I don't think we're going to like his cold weekend forecast. Stay with us. I'm Craig Morgan. As a former first responder, I know seconds matter when firefighters need fast, controlled access. Knox products have been trusted since 1975. Now Knox introduces the E-Key, a new technology that offers you the same secured access to your vital assets at your business, even secure home delivery. With 24-7 functionality, the Knox Connect E-Key is your solution. I depend on Knox for my business, and now you can too. Visit Knox.com to learn more. Williams Furniture Downtown McKenzie is celebrating fall with the prices in our store are falling in every direction. If you need a new Lazy Boy recliner, if you need a sofa sleeper, if you need a reclining sofa, we have them by Lazy Boy, by Catnapper, by Mayo. Come in to see us, you'll save a bundle. If you're looking for a mattress in Box Springs, we have those by Sutherland. We deliver, come see us. Remember, up to 12 months, no interest. That's Williams Furniture Downtown McKenzie. Drive a little, save a lot. That's right, Papa. Changing weather means changing health. When seasonal sickness has you missing work or sick at home and you need to see a doctor, use telehealth with the Jackson Clinic. Telehealth video visits allow you to see a Jackson Clinic provider with access to your Jackson Clinic medical records from wherever you are. Don't spend time in a waiting room when you can see a doctor from home. Become a Jackson Clinic patient today to take advantage of telehealth live video visits. Being injured in an automobile or 18-wheeler wreck is bad enough. The last thing anyone needs is to not get fully compensated due to an insurance company's out-of-court settlement. Know your rights and know what is a fair compensation. Before accepting a settlement, call Boren and Boyd. We'll get you what is fair and just, not just what happens to be convenient for the insurance company. When results matter, call Boren and Boyd. Well, let's hear with that final check. Cold front after cold front, making it very cold. Absolutely, yeah. We just got this persistent pattern. We're going to be stuck with it at least through the middle of the month here. And uh, we had a cold front go by, uh, obviously, yesterday. And that's brought these very cold temperatures this morning. But that's not cold compared to what we've got coming. Let's take a look at that final look at that seven-day forecast. Plenty of sunshine through the weekend and a gradual warming trend. In fact, we'll be up into the low 60s on Sunday afternoon. So it should feel pretty nice uh, there. However, as you see there on Monday, we'll have showers moving back in, mainly as rain. So we're talking about a 90% of rain and then and switch over to maybe some winter mix after that. Right at the end there. Thanks for joining us. Have a great weekend. I'll see you back here at 5. Hey there, Tennessee residents on Medicare. It may come as a surprise, but Medicare doesn't pay for everything. So help bridge the gap with a Medigap insurance plan, like an AARP Medicare supplement insurance plan insured by United Healthcare Insurance Company. Medigap plans help pay some of what Medicare doesn't, reducing your out-of-pocket costs. There are also zero networks and zero referrals needed. Call or click now to connect with United Healthcare Insurance Company. Find out about the range of AARP Medicare supplement plans and rates available. The only plans of their kind endorsed by AARP. And here's something exciting that comes with being an insured member of an AARP Medicare supplement plan. At your best by United Healthcare. An offering of wellness resources and more to help you live better. So connect with United Healthcare today about AARP Medicare Supplement Plans. 
Since 2004, Window World of Jackson has sold over 100,000 windows in West Tennessee. Our custom windows are made right here in the USA and backed by the good housekeeping seal of approval. If you need new windows, call Window World today and take advantage of 15 months, same as cash. Get delicious, authentic Italian food to go at the Old Town Spaghetti Store's curbside pickup. Check out our daily specials at OldTownSpaghettiStore.com. Call or order online today. It's 